Once upon a time, in a peaceful village nestled amidst lush green hills, there lived a kind-hearted farmer named Ananda. Ananda was known for his compassion and willingness to help others in need. He spent his days tending to his crops, always sharing his harvest with the less fortunate and offering a helping hand whenever someone required assistance. On the other side of the village, there was a cunning and selfish merchant named Ravana. He was only concerned about his own wealth and success, often resorting to dishonest means to achieve his goals. Ravana would deceive others, charge exorbitant prices for his goods, and never cared about the hardships his actions caused to those around him. One year, a severe drought struck the region, bringing misery to the village. The crops withered, and the villagers struggled to find enough food and water to survive. As Ananda observed the suffering of his fellow villagers, he couldn't help but wonder, why does it seem that bad things often happen to good people? while those who do wrong thrive. Feeling perplexed and curious, Ananda decided to seek counsel from the wise old monk, who lived atop a nearby mountain. The monk, named Bhante, was known for his deep understanding of the teachings of the Buddha. Upon reaching the mountaintop, Ananda humbly asked Bhante, why is it that someone like Ravana, who is selfish and deceitful, seems to have everything he needs? while good-hearted people like us are struggling during this difficult time. Bhante smiled warmly and began to explain, Ananda, life is like a vast river of interconnected actions and consequences. We call this river karma. Every action we take, be it good or bad, creates ripples in this river that eventually come back to us. He continued, Ravana may seem to prosper temporarily, but his actions are like poison polluting the river. The apparent success he enjoys now is merely a result of past actions, but the consequences of his deeds will catch up with him eventually. Ananda listened intently, absorbing Bhante's teachings. He asked, So, is there no escape from the cycle of good and bad actions and their consequences? Bhante replied, there is a way to break free from this cycle, Ananda. The Buddha taught us the path of right actions, right speech, and right thoughts. By cultivating compassion, generosity, and wisdom, we can purify our intentions and actions, making them beneficial for ourselves and others. He continued, when we act with genuine kindness and selflessness, we sow seeds of positive karma that will eventually ripen and bring forth happiness and prosperity in our lives. Though the effects of these actions may not be immediate, they will bear fruit in due time. Ananda felt a sense of clarity and reassurance. He realized that the complexities of karma were not about simple cause and effect, but about the intentions behind our actions and the profound interconnectedness of all beings. Returning to the village, Ananda continued his life of compassion and goodness, nurturing positive karma with every act of kindness. Over time, the drought subsided and the village flourished once more. The harmony and joy that filled the village were a testament to the power of good actions and the transformative nature of karma. From that day onward, Ananda shared Vanti's teachings with others encouraging them to choose the path of righteousness and compassion. Through the story of Ananda and Ravana, the villagers came to understand that though it may seem like good things happen to bad people, the true measure of success and happiness lies in the purity of one's heart and the selfless actions they perform. And so, the village thrived, not just because of abundant harvests, but also because the seeds of kindness and understanding had taken root in the hearts of its people. They learned to navigate the complexities of karma and strive towards a brighter, more compassionate future where the blessings of good actions were shared by all.